Hello, boys and girls. For today's lesson, you need to be on page 93 of your My Math book. It is Chapter 2, Lesson 6, where the essential question is, how can place value help me add larger numbers? Today, boys and girls, we are going to use models to learn addition with regrouping. We are going to look at this little area right here, follow along with me, use a place value chart and base 10 blocks to model three-digit addition with regrouping. To regroup means to rename a number using place value. We're going to start with this problem right here to give it a little practice shot. And it says, while on a trip, Rosa counted 148 red cars and 153 green cars. How many total cars did Rosa count? The first thing we want to do is take this addition problem and come up with an estimated sum. We are going to estimate the sum by rounding 148 to the nearest 10. 148 to the nearest 10 rounds to, whoops, let me get a red marker here, rounds to 150, and 153 to the nearest 10 rounds to 150. If I add 150 and 150, I add my 1's to get 0, my 5 plus 5 is actually 10, so I regroup that 1 up here. I have 300. My estimated answer is 300. So let's start by drawing our model to the right. We will use a square to represent our hundreds. We will use a long or a skinny to represent, whoops, we're going to use a, let me start over. We're going to use a square to represent hundreds. We're going to use a long or a skinny to represent tens. And we're just going to use this little dot right here for our ones. So I start out by making 148. I put 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, or 40. Now you can see right here that we need to add the tens and the hundreds. So we regroup those ten tens as one hundred, which I had right here. Remember we had one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, and one more. That actually makes ten. So we're going to regroup those as another hundred. So here is my new hundred. Here are my hundred the 100 I had from the 148, and the other 100 from the 143, and of course we had a 1 over here. This is now gone because I have regrouped them. So now there are three hundreds, there are no tens, and there is one 1. So 148 and 153 is equal to 301. Now we need to check our answer for reasonableness. Ask yourself if the answer makes sense. Is your answer reasonable? 301 is close to the estimate of 300. It makes sense. The answer is reasonable. Now, boys and girls, I would like you to stop this lesson. Talk to your neighbor about explaining how you know when you need to regroup. Talk to your neighbor also about why were the ones and tens regrouped. See what answer you can come up with and turn this lesson back on to see how close you were. Because you are such great thinkers, I am sure you and your team came up with an answer, answer similar to what is here. I know I need to regroup whenever I see more than 9 in any place value column. Why were the 1s and 10s regrouped? The 1s and 10s were regrouped because each of those columns had more than 9 as their total value. Now pause this lesson one more time. Talk with your team about whether or not you need to regroup when finding the sum of 147 and 214. 
be able to explain your answer of whether or not you need to regroup. Did you say yes, you need to regroup? If so, you are very smart. You will need to regroup the ones because seven ones and four ones equals eleven ones, which is more than nine. Okay, boys and girls, now let's take a look at page 95. Here we have page 95 and page 96, which is the part you are going to practice what we just learned. For page 95, the directions tell us that you need to use a model to add and then draw the sum. So you'll want to make sure, or you'll want to uh, use the place value charts and the base 10 pieces, or you can just draw them on here. I'm going to draw them on here for number 4 as an example for you. So I draw in my place value chart like this. I divide it into ones, tens, and hundreds. And for the first one, I need to make 259. So that is two, ten, two one hundreds, I'm sorry, and then five tens, one, two, three, four, five, and nine ones, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I need to make 162. Here is my 100, my 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 tens, and my 2 ones. When I combine my 2 ones with my 9 ones, I, I want to make a 10 out of it. So right here, I get 10. I'm going to trade those 10 in for another 10. I'll put that over here. Now I am going to see if I can make 10 tens, and I have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I'm going to take this group right here, trade those in, 10 tens, for 100, and I can see that I have 4 10, or 4 hundreds, 2 tens, and 1 1. My answer is 400 and 21. You'll want to do that same type of work for problems 5, 6, 7, and 8. Show your models right here. You can use base 10 pieces first, but make sure you draw the model underneath each of the problems and then write your answer on the blank lines here. And boys and girls, when you finish this page, come on over here to this page of the practice. Be sure you read the directions. Be sure you read the information given for each of the problems and make sure you understand what the problem is asking and what the answer needs to be. Boys and girls, do 10, 11, 12, and 13. When you do problem 13 and you answer this question, you need to answer this question by restating the question. Let me get you started. How do I know if I need to regroup when finding a sum? I know I need to regroup, and you finish that sentence. And the last thing you need to do for today's math work is take out page 97. Put this in your folder because this is your homework. Do page 97 and the back of this, page 98, for homework. Great job on this lesson today, boys and girls. I can't wait to see the work you do because you are kids achieving greatness. Go get them, kiddos.